good morning. Thank you very much for coming. Look, we have a big event today and uh, a, a new program of which we're very proud. So let me rapidly introduce it to you, if I may. We call it WIPO Green. Uh, and uh, this is, what is it? Well, it's essentially a marketplace or a technology exchange. Uh, and it consists of, first of all, a database in which technology providers can upload uh, environmentally sustainable technologies and make them available for licensing uh, to other parties uh, and in which uh, persons or enterprises may also upload uh, their needs and specify what it is they're looking for, what the problem is, what, uh, uh, what they need assistance on and how technology uh, can uh, be useful to them. Uh, and associated with that technology exchange, uh, we have certain other activities designed to build capacity, really, in the area of environmentally sustainable technologies. Why is this particular facility, which I've just described, important? Well, I think we're all acutely aware of the challenge of climate change uh, and of the need to adapt our whole economy first and society secondly uh, to environmentally sustainable technologies and environmentally sustainable lifestyles. Uh, how are we going to achieve that objective? Well technology and innovation are the major instrumentalities. Uh, innovation uh, is absolutely needed to develop uh, well better uh, sources of energy, alternative sources of energy, uh, technology to save the use of energy, to uh, new forms of transportation, uh, new and green forms of agriculture or forestry, right across the economy and absolutely everything we do, technology can assist us in reducing our carbon footprint uh, and in obtaining, uh, attaining uh, carbon neutrality. Uh, technology marketplaces in general are perhaps not as transparent as they should be, meaning that it's more difficult to find technologies perhaps than it should, uh, than it should be or than, than, than we, uh, we would like it to be. So this particular exchange contributes to the objective of innovation and, uh, in, in the field of green technology by adding a dimension of much greater transparency for the market technology marketplace. It also contributes to the diffusion of technologies that have been developed. Or, uh, you know, once you have innovation, you need to get it diffused across the uh, economy. Uh, we would underline that it is a multi-stakeholder uh, program. It's multidisciplinary and it's multi-entity in the sense that uh, if you look at the partners who are associated with this, you will find public enterprises, private enterprises, universities, commercial companies, small and medium enterprises, startups, uh, enterprises from developing countries and enterprises that are extremely advanced from the developed countries. I would like to record our special thanks to the Japan Intellectual Property Association, which is an association of uh, companies uh, uh, in Japan, which has uh, uh, in particular helped us in putting this uh, facility together. So perhaps I'll Thank stop you. my remarks there. Thank you. <coughs> Questions? I was just wondering when exactly it was uh, started this new project and how come there's so little. I mean, I would expect much more um, companies or joining that. Is it? Just mm. uh, well, it's, well uh, this is the launch, so uh, the, its official start date is today. Uh, up until now, we've had a prototype because we, in order to encourage companies to participate, we have to show them what 
you know, what, what, is, what the beast looks like, how it is going to operate. Uh, and um, we have been very pleased with the rate of addition of new companies, actually. Yes, yeah, sure, we've got a long way to go, but you have to start somewhere. Uh, and this is the start, and we, we notice that we're getting, at, the, at this stage, in the last week, a new company per day. My apologies for being late. Um, very quickly, so how, uh, I mean, how would you see this operating? I mean, basically, I'm a small company, I want to have more information, or I'm a large company, I want to do something on the ground. I mean, could you yeah. perhaps just sure. explain this? So, uh, uh, what I was saying earlier is that really, you know, there is, there is uh, perhaps less than optimal transparency in technology marketplaces. Uh, and this is a contribution to improving the tra transparency of technology marketplaces. So you can operate either, e so that means that if you're a seller of technologies, if you're a provider of technologies, it is going to assist you in making your technologies better known and to a wider audience. If you are looking for technologies, it is a place that you can go to that is where, where you can search to see what is available and where you can also specify your needs and a provider can come in and make suggestions as to how they can satisfy your needs. So you'll have a team, uh, sort of an online team, which will give suggestions and, and be putting people in touch with each other? Uh, that's right. So out, we are the facilitators only. So we're the facilitators, we're the connectors, if you like, of the buyers and the sellers, uh, uh, or the providers and the suppliers, uh, and the uh, users. Uh, and uh, so to a certain extent, it should act on its own. People should come, as to any marketplace, uh, and look for what they want. Yeah. Okay, uh, any more questions? I mean, if I just come back again, I mean, for example, bamboo bikes, now what would they... What would they, uh, Bamboo Bikes Initiative in Ghana? Yeah. Well, they're going to be speaking this afternoon, no? They will be. And Phil, uh, Phil who's from come, the area. Yeah, come and join us. Thank you. I'm just trying to visit. Please do. With, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, 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 please. Um, my name's Philip Stevens. I'm on the team that helped establish this initiative. So Bamboo Bikes, for example, is a, a small enterprise in, in Ghana that has quite an interesting product. Uh, it's a bicycle made out of bamboo. So that qualifies as being environmentally sustainable. Um, obviously being in her particular situation, it's difficult to reach a wider market. Uh, I think she thinks that uh, many more countries would benefit from this product. So what WIPO Green can do will allow her to upload her particular technology to the database, um, which will then be accessible to people in other countries other than Ghana. So what it's essentially doing is giving her a, a a much greater platform than she would have by herself. Do you have any more examples? Just interesting little quirky things. Yeah. Um, at the moment, we're at the prototype stage, so we're, we're still amassing technologies. There's, I can't give any specific examples off the top of my head, but there's some quite uh, advanced technologies, particularly from Japan. Um, and then at the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, quite neat products like the bamboo bike. There are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, over uh, well over 1,000 uploads. Correct. Technology yeah. uploads. Yes. Already. Yeah. As of today, yeah. As of today. We hope to expand that considerably over the next few months. Mm. Bamboo bikes are speaking this afternoon. Yes, they're speaking this afternoon, right? They are, yes. So the Bernice Dapa, is the managing director of Bamboo Bikes, will be. Um, at WIPO, uh, I've had Bosch building available for interview if you'd like to speak to her. There's also a small exhibition showcasing some of the technologies that have been included, including the bamboo bike. I believe we have a bamboo we bike. We do, yeah. We have a, the bike itself is oh, really? in attendance. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's li look. It's obviously it's leveraging the the uh, power of the internet to expand the marketplace and to uh, give providers a much broader audience and a much bigger platform on which to uh, get their products out there. And also to enable consumers or users uh, to have a much better access to worldwide technologies.
Well, thank you very much for coming and hope you'll join us uh, across the street at 3 o'clock today. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much.